Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another quick tutorial. I'm just going to quickly show you how to get fire particles um, within Houdini. So, obviously, Houdini is a um, particle based um, creation tool. Sorry about that, as you can tell, I've still got my cold. I'm still struggling. So, um, I'll just quickly show you how you do it. It's very, very simple. It's a, a very, very sort of basic thing. Um, to do to create fire, but um, Houdini's made it quite easy to do this sort of stuff. So let me quickly show you. So I'm just going to create uh, a box, and I'm just going to make it five length, maybe three high, like so. And up the top here, you've got all sort of like your particle um, simulation tools here. So I'm just going to go to Pyro, and I'm just going to pick, say for instance, a volcano, and I'm just going to drop it on top. And then when you drop it on top, automatically this will start rendering um, and creating the actual um, look of the particle. But it sort of all depends how um, quick your computer is um, and how fast it runs um, in order to get it up and running. So. As you can see, automatically, you know, we've got our sort of particle here. Um, if we quickly do a RAM preview of that, um, obviously, this is like a volcano um, simulation because that's exactly what we've created. Um, you know, there's, you know, there's no difficulty in doing this. Um, it's just basically add it and then modify it um, to how you see fit. So as you can see, it will go from one to 220 frames. This here is all your nodes for editing um, your effect. Like so. And we can even add another element on that or another uh, particle um, simulation on that um, to add to the effect as well. So um, doing it this way obviously is a very easy way of doing it, um, but obviously you know it's going to, it's a good idea because it's going to, you know, give you an idea of how the node editor works. You know what 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 sort of, um, you know, nodes you're going to use to create um, this particle. I mean you can actually sort of create it from um, scratch yourself. Um, but yeah, I mean that's just a very very quick sort of look. Um, on how you would basically do that um, and as you're sort of doing your work as you're rendering it through down here it will tell exactly what it's doing um, so on and so on so um, I'll let this complete its status because it's doing something at the moment um, and once this is done um, I'll show you another simulation I'll show you another particle quick particle effect um, but you always got to sort of add an element, you've got to add a primitive, and you've always got to add your um, <clears throat> your effect or your uh, particle on top of a primitive in order for the, the particle to attach itself to something. Again, like I said, I do apologise about my voice. So I'm like right idiot. Yeah. If you want to sort of quit out of that, just press escape. And you can sort of play around with your particles while it's sort of creating. So if I go to edit, uh, let's go to file new, discard that. Um, we get the base mesh again. Um, let's create another box. It's always great to do your particles with a box um, and always enlarge your box. So let's go five this time. Five again, click OK. And say, for instance, we want um, flames. Just going to drop that onto our box, let that load up. As you can see, it's working the whole thing here, and then it'll give you your node graph, tell you exactly what's going on within this scene. So, if I sort of move forward, as you move forward, it will render it for you. Um, but what, what I mean, the best thing to do is obviously, you know, play it through. Um, let the um, let Houdini render it all the way um, to the final uh, keyframe um, for you to get your final effect, and then after it's done, 
um, you, you can play around with it and edit as much as you can, um, as much as you want because you know it's going to um, run a lot quicker as well um, on your system. So um, I always sort of let it run, you know, to play the entire scene from one to the end. Um, and then while that's actually doing that, I like to sort of have a look um, at what we have here. Um, so we've got your gravity, you've got your merge, you've got your power solver, you've got another merge, uh, your fuel. And just see how this sequence in general is laid out. And from this, you can sort of create your own um, fire effect, basically. So, nearly at the end of that. Just going to answer the phone, guys, one sec. Right, so sorry about that. As you heard, the phone went off, which was a bit of a pain in the ass. But as you can see, it's rendered um, from 1 to 220 keyframes. And now I'm able to sort of uh, play around with this this comp um, and sort of just generally have a look, you know, at what is actually going on and how it's actually put itself together, so I can create my very own um, uh, particle effect. But you can also sort of get another smoke effect, drop that on top as well, um, and that will add that extra smoke here. As you can see, we've got more smoke. Um, within the composition um, let's just stop that let's quickly stop that if I can right and then we can sort of have a look um, exactly what's going on here um, so as you can see the fire goes up and we've just added some smoke there generated from the top but uh, you know Houdini's added a very clever way to show you in the node paste editor exactly what's going on you know so you can sort of you know figure out yourself exactly what you want to do and how you want to add different elements and you can keep adding to this comp as well um, different effects or different particle effects as well so i hope this has helped you very quick very basic guys um just to give you a sort of heads up so you can see exactly what's going on um thanks for listening guys and i'll see you in the next video ciao ciao